Para mí recibir este premio es un grande, grande honor. Para mí mi laboratorio es un premio muy reconocido en el mundo de la biología. Y recibirlo con Mike Hall, una persona que he conocido desde el principio de mi carrera por más de 20 años, es un grande placer. Eh, él y yo hemos hecho eh, cosas muy complementarias en este, en este pathway eh, de, de mTOR y es un amigo y una persona que respeto muchísimo. Well, the mTOR protein is the key link between the availability of nutrients for an organism and its capacity to grow, that is to accumulate mass and increase in size. And until uh, we made the discovery of mTOR, it was unknown how this happens. And it turns out that this process of growth control, nutrient sensitive growth control, is involved in many, many different physiological processes as well as diseases such as cancer. Well, I started working in the mTOR field really before it was a field. When I was a student, I identified the protein, which is now called mTOR. And I've continued to work in this area really for the, since 1994 when I made that discovery in identifying, for example, the protein complexes that mTOR is a part of. And more recently, in the last 10 years, in identifying how this pathway actually senses the nutrients that regulate it and identifying a multitude of different proteins that are involved in this sensing process. Well, the process of growth, that is the, the accumulation of biological mass by cells and organisms, turns out to have many roles in physiology and also in deregulated physiology, that is in disease, and in particularly in diseases such as cancer in where cells must grow, they must accumulate mass and eventually divide to make, for example, a tumor larger. And almost all cancers find some way of activating the mTOR pathway to drive their growth. So the small molecule, the drug that we use to discover the mTOR protein, a small molecule called rapamycin, turns out to be one of the best validated molecules for prolonging lifespan in a variety of different organisms, including in mammals such as mice. And so there's tremendous excitement about using rapamycin-like molecules or other mo modulators of the mTOR pathway to ameliorate the aging process, maybe not necessarily to extend lifespan, but certainly to decrease the, the, the severity of aging-related uh, diseases. And so I think there's tremendous potential in this avenue, and there's lots of exciting work going on both in academia and industry along this angle.